Hi, I'm Daniel Gonzalez from the Robotics Research Center at West Point, and I'm here to present our IROS paper on dynamics and aerial attitude control for rapid emergency deployment of the agile ground robot, Agro. We developed a four-wheel independent drive and steering inspection robot named Agro, and a method of controlling its pitch and roll while falling through the air using wheel reaction torques so that it lands upright if I throw it or drive it off a ledge. This behavior makes Agro a reliable robot teammate whose ruggedness comes from its control as well as its design. So it can land upright every time and continue to perform its mission. We were inspired by the motion of cats. A cat can contort its body in midair to ensure that it lands on its four feet and evenly distributes the landing impact. We used a different principle to achieve this result on Agro that takes advantage of its unique architecture. Each wheel is driven independently by an in-wheel hub motor, and each motor can be steered independently with its own servo. An inertial measurement unit is used to detect freefall and provide angle feedback. When Agro is in the air, our controller uses this feedback to align the wheels appropriately and drive them to stabilize the body's orientation and land upright. While on the ground, this architecture allows Agro to move forward and back like a conventional ground robot, but it also allows Agro to achieve a tighter turning radius, turn on a dime with zero turning radius, and strafe sideways. While in the air, we consider small angles in roll, pitch, and yaw about the body-centric X, Y, and Z axes, respectively. The wheels are numbered 1 to 4, going counterclockwise, starting from the front right wheel. The steering angles between the body frame B and each steering frame S1 through S4 are delta 1 through delta 4. Now we add the constraint that delta 1 must equal delta 3 and delta 2 must equal delta 4. The front right wheel, wheel 1, and the rear left wheel, wheel 3, have the same steering angle, so the reaction torque vectors point in the same direction, and effectively combine to be one torque source. The same goes for wheel 2 and wheel 4. These two sources of reaction torque can then be pointed independently to modify the ratio of pitch or roll authority. When all the steering angles are zero, all four wheel reaction torque vectors point in the same direction, and only pitch reaction torques can be applied about the body, represented as an eigentorque along the Y prime axis. Let's introduce a sub-movement, alpha, where each wheel pair steers in opposite directions. What this does is increase our ability to apply torque along the roll direction and introduce an eigentorque along the X prime axis, moving aggro away from a singular configuration. If alpha is 45 degrees, we reach an isotropic configuration, where we can equally apply torque about the pitch and roll axes. Let's go back to the singular configuration and introduce a second sub-movement, called beta, where all wheels steer in the same direction. Doing this changes the direction of the Y' prime axis, but doesn't change the ratio between the eigentorques. The X' prime eigentorque, shown here, is still zero, but the direction about which the Y' prime eigentorque can be applied has changed. Submovement beta also causes the wheel masses to swing around, generating reaction torques along the yaw axis. But exploring this capability is left for future work. So, starting from zero, we can increase the ratio of the eigentorques and achieve isotropy using submovement alpha, or change the direction of these eigentorques using submovement beta. We can also combine the two sub-movements to achieve roll, pitch, and yaw authority, while changing the ratio of torques applied about the y prime and x prime axes as needed. We can use this parameterization to define a Jacobian that is a function of alpha and beta, which relates wheel input torques and steering torque to net reaction torque applied to the body about its x, y, and z axes. The dynamics of aggro can be derived by considering the forces and torques applied to the rigid robot body. The equations of motion are derived by taking angular momentum about the base, which is acted upon by wheel reaction forces and torques. 
Each wheel has linear momentum, is acted upon by gravity, and reacts against the robot base. The total reaction torque vector to the body can be broken down to the commanded wheel drive torque, the commanded steering torque, and a reaction about the wheel's local x-axis. This reaction torque can be derived by dotting the total angular momentum of the wheel about the steering joint by its local x-axis. Combining these expressions and assuming no steering motion leads to the three nonlinear equations of motion for Agra's orientation while in the air. Each equation of motion contains linear inertial terms, nonlinear Coriolis terms, and control inputs from wheel drive and steering torques. Now we aim to stabilize the orientation while in the air. Let Q be the vector of small angle deviations from the horizontal in pitch, roll, and yaw. When linearized about the desired horizontal configuration and isotropic steering configuration, the robot base equations of motion become linear second-order systems, which can each be sufficiently stabilized with a simple PD controller. Here is the full block diagram for our controller. Using the derivation of the Jacobian from before, we can convert the desired body torque vector in the body space to our output wheel drive torque and steering torque commands. To tune our controller, we simulated Agro controlling its orientation from a fall of 1.2 meters with initial roll and pitch conditions of negative 25 degrees and 25 degrees respectively. With the following gains, the simulated Agro could stabilize its orientation within 500 milliseconds while staying below the actuation limits. We implemented the controller on the Agro prototype using the same feedback gains as the simulation. And as you see here, it successfully rejects external disturbances and stabilizes itself. To verify the implemented controller, we suspended it using a rigid beam and dropped it from a height of 0.85 meters. A roll and pitch initial condition could be adjusted using the tether. A comparison was made between a fall with the controller enabled and a fall with the controller disabled, each with the same initial conditions. We dropped it onto a cushion because the impact damping tires for the in-wheel hub motors have not yet been designed. The controller state turns on when the accelerometer detects freefall. When the controller is enabled, the wheels steer to the isotropic configuration and apply reaction torques to stabilize the fall. With the controller disabled, the robot sees greater impact forces upon landing. A controlled fall minimizes the risk of damage from impact and ensures that Agro can continue to carry out its mission. And with that, if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact us.